So I just want to tell people, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And we have two gentlemen well who has joined the show who epitomize and manifest that saying. It ain't where you're from, it's where you're at, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And these cats is finishing very, very strong, you know. To me, I like the fact that they're taking something called the King of Kings and they're running with that, you know. We have... People, if you're from Queens or anywhere in the tri-state area, yeah, yeah. as a matter of fact, I want to say you're from the East yeah, Coast. Yeah. I want to say if you're from the United States of America, uh, their name should ring some bells. I think so. You know, we're not talking OG. We're not talking double OG. We're not talking triple OG. Quadruple OG status. We have Lance and Ty. We're Tato, the Tato <laughs> brothers. They're in the building. Uh, uh, uh. Let's give it up for them, y'all. Yeah. King of Keys. <laughs> so we're going to start with you, Lance. You know, so... People have heard the story. They want to know the story again and again. But yet, you're still alive. You're still here looking good. Thank you. And you're very, using very. your brain in a very articulate way. What allowed you to make the changes with your brother in life to keep wanting to serve our community in a positive way? First, let me start off by saying we've never been introduced with quadruple <laughs> OG status. Yes, sir. <laughs> And then you sitting there rocking the gazelle. Ah. <laughs> I like his voice. A smooth voice right there. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, speak on hey. the mic, brother. You can't, is that close? I was trying to bring it down. You good? You good? Oh, All right. Okay. okay. Speak some more. So, All right. Like DJ. I know. <laughs> Y'all super me up. <laughs> but um, to answer the question, you know. And keeping it real, because mm -hmm. that's one thing about us. We keep it real. We don't front because we don't know how to front. Mm -hmm. Had it not been for the grace of God, no telling what we'd have been doing. Mm. You right. know, and that's really in the nutshell. Um, but we also knew about a system, you know, I describe it as the business of incarceration. Other folks describe it as, you know, that prison industrial complex. We knew about that business. And... It was our sole duty to make sure that no more of our future leaders fell into the traps that we fell into. Mm. And I describe it as a trap, but we made our choices knowingly and willingly. Sure. You know, and our soul is intact. You know, so for the folks that are out there listening, they know what that means. Mm -hmm. Our soul is intact. There's no <coughs> compromising. But we understood that God had a plan and a purpose for our life. We didn't know God at the time, mm. you know. Um, and I'm so happy, you know, and excited that I met him and fell in love with him. Okay, mm. well, oh, hey. That's that's right. Right. Well, well, with that being said, I'm going to ask you a socio-economic, political question, if, if I dare do such. Whatever happened <laughs> to the tray bag? We'll, we'll See, be next. When, I, when oh, I was a kid, yeah. we had tray bags. Yeah, you know, okay. I, I remember that too. Yeah. Yeah. What well, happened to the tray bag? <laughs> well, are you upset about? I know. Are you upset about that? Yo, okay. it was like okay. a Manila joint. You yes, know? it was. I, yo, yeah. and it was, it was quite pillowy. You know, and I think <laughs> very pillowy. <laughs> That's inflation right there. Oh, Will the oh trade bag ever come back? It's coming uh, back. You just made us sound old. <laughs> I know. So anyway, going back to Kings of Kings. <laughs> so brothers, so tell us a little bit about first the organization uh, that you're that you're in, and and what is it that your mission is about? Okay, so um, our organization, the King of Kings Foundation, was established as a way of giving back by reaching out to our at-risk youth, educating them, and motivating them, uplifting and inspiring them. Um, to reach their full potential, despite the elements that continuously surround them. Mm. Our mission is to educate all to the dangers and consequences of being involved with drugs, guns, gang violence, succumbing to peer pressure. But most importantly, we promote the importance of education because we know the lack of can lead to homelessness, poverty, and incarceration. And one of our strongest goals is to help build stronger, safer, closer communities. This guy's voice is just killing me. I don't even. I don't even know what you said. I was like, uh huh. Well, let, okay, let, I don't let, let Todd speak right, on it. Go ahead, Todd. Speak uh, on yeah, it, baby. You, I don't know what's gonna happen when you speak. <laughs> He's gonna be like, welcome. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lance is Ditto. Like, I'm not smooth like that. I'm just smooth. Oh, okay, oh. okay, okay, okay. He like that white Hennessy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as Lance made mention, right? We're on the mission because we realized that the the destruction that we've caused, and we realized also that even though drugs was before our time. When we came, we took it to another level. 
and we owe our communities because we paid our debt to the law enforcement, not society. We working in society now. We paid our debt to the law enforcement. So every young person that's engulfed in this thing called drug, thinking that it's a way out, mm -hmm. it's not. It's a way in to the prison industrial complex. <clears throat> and it's by the grace of God that we are and we will continue to make a difference. Mm. I like the fact that you guys took the same swagger you had from every level of work that you've done and you maintain that and I guess that's why you have the integrity and the respect that you have. We have another Queensite in the house who wants to pose a yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Don't, look, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Yo, he said I'm from Jersey now. Um, I wanted to ask you, you know, a lot of organizations that deal with children, they usually have a format, right, for mentorship and things of that nature. What is your format? What is your work? Do you have any workshops um, that's being developed or are developed yeah, that so some of the kids in, uh, in Queens? No, it's, we're in liaisons. We're everywhere. So it's bigger than Queens. You know, back in that old life, we was in 23 different states. So mm -hmm. how much more ground can we cover serving the Lord? Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. we have our own mentoring program that we developed, and it's called Positive Impact Movement Mentoring Program. We also have our own anti-drug, anti-gang warriors tour where we um, host a series of workshops on various topics. We are vendors with the Board of Ed. Um, so we're entrenched in the schools. We're entrenched in the communities. We're everywhere. So, so we, first of all, in our community, we embrace everybody in our community. And, you know, the work that you are doing, first of all, the fact that you acknowledge uh, the destruction, the damage that you may yes. have caused, it's just, first of all, responsible. Mm. Yeah. And it's accountable. I mean, that's, that's, that's huge, number one. And I find that uh, many of my, my friends, my associates that have been in the life prior to this, they are now taking a different stance, right? So how was it with the transition? Because apparently it's a transferable skill. I've, I'm listening to you right now. We was in 23 states. Now we're rocking it like this. We're moving it this way. The transferable skill, how did you find yourself going through that transition now in this, uh, in this, new, in this new type of life? You know, um, as you may mention earlier, you know, when you're influential, you know, mm -hmm. you can use it negatively or you can use it positively. Mm -hmm. And so one thing that we do share, you know, even when we was, you know, knee deep in sin, mm -hmm. incarcerated, you know, in federal prison, you know, we just didn't start doing this when we came home, mm -hmm. you know. We were doing the same thing while we were in prison. I was a GED tutor. I was responsible for over 75 inmates receiving their GED. Todd played a major role, and he'll share some of that with you on some of the things that he was doing. Um, but first, you know, healing and being transformed mm -hmm. comes from recognizing, you know, as Todd made mention, we opened a black hole, mm -hmm. you know, and it's our sole duty to help close that hole. And, you know... It's, you know, a chain of destruction, you know. I look at our youth who are our future leaders, and there's no way I could treat them like they're a crash dummy. Thanks. No way, you know. And I just wish when I was younger, someone took the time to come talk to me mm. because me and my brothers at the tender ages of 11, 12, and 13, we were in the streets in gangs and all <coughs> type of stuff. And, you know, that's some more stuff that we can talk about because we're very transparent. Mm -hmm. Our life story is an open book, you know, and that's, ma that's what makes us so relatable. Absolutely. Um, like I made mention, we don't front because mm -hmm. we don't know how to front. Mm -hmm. And we understand that real recognizes real. And when you're mm -hmm. speaking to the youth and the younger generations, they see that. if you appear to come mm -hmm. off like, you know, like some theologian, some scholar, you know, then they don't want to hear it. We're mm -hmm. urban specialists. Right? Wow. We're overcomers of our environment. Well, speaking of urban specialists, this is what I've, I've come to find. So I was born, I'm, I'm Bronx born, you know, and I spend my time in Harlem now. And so I've noticed Harlem got a certain thing with it. The Bronx got a certain thing with it. You Queens cats, y'all got a certain thing with y'all. What is it that makes that Queens <coughs> area have that certain modus operandi that how y'all get down? You, you know what? You know what? This how we... we we view New York. <clears throat> we don't get geographical with it. We're all neighbors. And I think we all possess that same oomph. Mm. Some of us have not yet to find it. But when you find it, don't be afraid of it because there's so many things that a person can do if they get out of their own way. See, one thing we realized at the King of Kings Foundation, <clears throat> right, we all grew up on this thing that are, uh, 
It's always said to be true to thy own self until thy own self be true. Mm -hmm. To me, I beg to differ because if if it's saying be true to myself, that means I have the capability of telling you a lie. And if I wore that lie, that lie becomes the truth. Mm. So our thing, as long as we be true to you, guess who we will never lie to? Mm. Ourselves. Ourselves. Interesting. Who's the older brother? So does he take like older <laughs> brother positions? <clears throat> <laughs> it just got real. It just got real, people. Because we're not fake. We're not fake at all. Cut the no, fan on. We're, we're, we're definitely not fake. That's my walking Bible. Oh, okay. That's my walking Bible. Uh, mm. He keeps us rooted and grounded. You awesome. know, we, bur we both serve the Lord. We're in love with the Lord. Um, but that's my walking Bible. You know what I'm saying? So tell us about who you reached. The, the, I, I don't really b believe in uh, numbers. Um, but just tell us about some of the stories or the testimonies of some of the young people you've touched. Wow. So, you know, this is one story that just kind of really sticks out because, you know, this is one incident that we left, you know, an engagement and we felt that we didn't reach them. Yes. You know, uh -huh. and we was in Pennsylvania. Um, we was doing the event for Jamel Nelson. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, I think he was playing for Miami. And uh, Janelle Mel Nelson, right? Orlando and, uh, Magic. Oh, he was playing for Orlando Magic. Right. That's right. And he had this big event in the gym, and it was during, you know, like a AAU tournament, right? Mm -hmm. And it was like maybe 800 kids in the, in the gym, and we're looking and we saying, these kids ain't interested in hearing nothing positive. <laughs> you know, they want to. They talking <laughs> they want the basketball, hip, right? They want some sports. Yeah, they talking mm -hmm. basketball. Mm -hmm. So it was halftime during one of the games, and we came out. And one thing that we've been blessed with is a spirit of discernment. So we knew we'd got to hit them quick and quit. You can't take too long. And, um, you know, I grew up a ball player myself playing ball. Mm -hmm. So I knew how to appeal to them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but for some reason, we felt that we didn't connect. Mm -hmm. And about six months later, we was doing an a, a anti-violent peace march in Atlantic City. And, you know, so we marching down the street and, you know, after the march is over, these five or six kids came up to us. He said, hey, man, y'all the um, Ferdinado, the, the <laughs> Filado. We said, the Furtado brothers. He said, yo, y'all don't remember us, right? But about six months back, we was in Pennsylvania in the tournament. We, yo, we was the kids sitting up at the top of the stand, mm. kind of heckling and two y'all mm. kind of got us. They said... We just want you to know we heard every word you said wow. and a lot of us changed our lives. Wow. That was the most, you wow. know, blessed and exonerated feeling we had. Because sure. we thought, you know, that we didn't reach them. And this is the first time we ever had that feeling. You know what? We're wow. going to give you that back as a gift. That's interesting. Queen Dream. That's interesting. Play a beat and he's going to break that down for you as a <laughs> gift for you right now. That's not All right? Right. <laughs> what, 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 Watch. It's good. It's a, you're going to get a gift. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. <clears throat> Here we go. You know what's funny when you see sun, you know, each one probably teach one. Every single day, every season, if you do what you do, here is the reason. It's funny how life works, how everything happens in different spurs. You could say something to someone, you think it falls on deaf ears. But a couple months later, you find out they care. Because they see you right, right there. And tell you that they heard the message quite clear. You thought that they wasn't listening and heckling. That they was hiding and jekyllin'. But they broke down every single word that you said. And it was ingrained in their head and understand that they had to do it right. They was doing wrong, you made them change their life. In other words, understand you never ever feel that you already know that you had to do your thing. Your kings, your kings, you run princes, the kings, and now they got their rings like Thanos in the Avengers. Understand, y'all keep it real, y'all not pretenders. And you ain't got minds mixed in the blender In other words, you keep it going without a surrender So, we had to wrap it up Understand I'm on the microphone acting up Because I got a show with no apology You say the mess, same messages my father showed to me You know, don't get caught up in the street life Cause you can end up in a casket all behind bars But I'd rather grab the microphone And put other rappers in a casket behind these bars Rise like a star Do what I do forever and ever The Furtado brothers And I ain't talking about Nelly 
get it Nelly Furtado fry like a bird You heard the words <laughs> that I was saying Understand I'm balling, never ever falling Demons rising underground soaring That's the breakdown of drugs You don't wanna get caught up by thugs You wanna show love, spread it all around the world Reach everybody in the earth And I had to reach out up in the verse and this last can come in the first. Let's go. All right. Oh, D nasty. Listen, D nasty. D nasty. D nasty. You just got two more fans. D <laughs> <laughs> no, nasty did the thing. <laughs> and, I, looking. and I hope somebody recorded that. We did. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. We did. And, and we'll send you. We'll us. send you there. Thank Thank you off top, I thought us. it was a record, right? Till I had to lean back and I saw my man on the miz. <laughs> on the miz, and he was kicking it like this. <laughs> Like, <laughs> off. Just <laughs> us That's all right. We <laughs> unfortunately we do understand it. <laughs> you know, I'm about to go. Is a is a a a <laughs> Double Dutch Butch. That was great. Uh, Deep Nasty yeah. is you know we try to make sure that we have a generation uh, load of people at our dispense to make sure we understand all the messages that we give and your message that you provide to the larger group. It's just the beginning. Uh, we just really want to thank you all uh, for coming on. Uh, is there any parting uh, messages that you would say that if someone, if you could reach somebody that was probably on the top, the top bleacher, mm. uh, that you that you'd like to share? So we just have three profound things that we share: sure. choices, consequences, what's at stake. Mm. Yes. Choices consequences of what's at stake break it down if break i don't care down, what right. it is mm -hmm. if it's about to pop off if you just stop 10 seconds and think about the choices that you're about to make think about the consequences and what's at stake i guarantee you 90 percent of the time you'll make the right choice Yo, did he talk like this, like in the old time? <laughs> <laughs> no, because if he talked like this, I can see why, you know. He, he sound like Hank Spann or Frankie oh, Crocker MG. from way back. Uh, is, did he really talk like this all the time? Yeah, excellent voice. You should consider doing radio. What is Pretty wow. Tony like? What is his, what is his, <laughs> what is his thing? Listen, Tony is absolutely smooth. He's really smooth. <laughs> Period. Yeah, okay, I, we I'm got a little update up here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the middle. I'm oh, the middle. Oh, the middle. Okay. oh okay. So you're so the you hybrid. The no, I'm, yeah. I'm the youngest. Oh, you the baby of the he's, Oh, he's the youngest. The okay. He said, don't get it no, twisted. I'm the youngest. <laughs> and in some people world, I'm an old man. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we, we're truly honored and yeah. grateful that we were invited to come on. Oh, no uh, doubt. No, I one for experience. Is, we just, you just added to our, like, I mean, this show itself has been incredible. I don't know if you know. I'm Reverend Tiller, uh, but oh, that's a good friend of ours. Yeah, I mean, this show has been incredible for us, and we really uh, this is on the books for us. This is a chart. This is a chart a blessing right here. Yeah. How can they find out more about you, or if somebody was inspired by what they heard and they wanted to look you all up or become affiliated? What can they do to reach y'all? So they can actually go to our website, KingofKingsFoundation.org. Um, we're on Facebook. I'm under Furtado Brothers. You can go under Todd Furtado. We're on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I think we have some of the social media sites covered. <laughs> I um, know. That's crazy. But we got, <laughs> we got some things coming up that we just need to throw out there. Sure, that's sure. okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah absolutely. Yes. This is the only fundraiser that we do for the year, and that's our annual King's Gala. It's a black tie affair. It's happening this June 30th, um, and so that's going to be great. Um, also, we do an annual Friends for Life community breakfast barbecue. This is our 15th annual. Whoa, that's going to be nice. We oh. kind of average about 2,500 people to 4,000. Everything is free. Then you got to look at the sister. Um, she goes, <coughs> yeah. yeah. She on the show next time. Well, next time yeah. she I'm on the wait. show. I'm definitely coming to that. Go ahead. And so here's the last one because there's a lot of things that we can talk Take about. Your time. But I want to push this out there. August 19th, mm. August, August 19th. 19th, we're hosting the 35th anniversary of Ralph McDaniel's Whoa, VH, um, I saw video that. Music. I saw that actually, yeah. That's right. what's up. So yeah. we're going to do that at Roy Wilkins Park in Queens. And it's free for yeah, the that's public. That's like his, uh, his daddy. <laughs> okay, and it's, listen, <laughs> it's going to be crazy, <clears throat> you know, crazy for real. That's so dope. I think we have a caller. Um, <clears throat> That's ready to speak to uh, our guests. Do so we have a caller? Okay, hi. You're listening to On Point Experience. Hi. 
Speak. Hello. Good Hello. morning. Good morning. Hi, guys. This is Dora Michelle. Big shout out to Dora Michelle. <laughs> Dora Michelle made this I happen. Had to call in. You yes. did you really? I had to call in. Yes, I had to talk to my bosses real quick. <laughs> 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 yes, but I just wanted to say that this, these two gentlemen, it's such an honor that, you know, they allowed me in their circle. I got introduced to them about two years ago, and I recognized the names I wasn't too familiar, but I had did my own research, and I was like, oh, I could work with you. They were instantly. Yeah. But I wanted to say is um, I love what they're doing. Um, they're definitely an epitome and an example that anyone can make mistakes, but it's what you do to mm-hmm. make mistakes. So uh, and Dawn... They have utilized that. They have utilized what they have done and made it into a fascinating tool. Yeah. For everyone of all ages, so I'm a fan. Oh, you know, you're my bosses, but I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> We're a fan of yours, Dawn. No, Dawn is awesome. That, you Dawn know, is I'm awesome. so honored. You know, I'm so honored, and I think God's great. Thank and you. I want to let you know. That. I, I, you know what? Thank you, Dawn. We truly appreciate you, and um, y- you're worth everything. And we're glad to have you on board with us. All right. Thank you for calling in. Uh, I thought I was going to look on the side and see you standing there. <laughs> me okay. too. Yeah, I was trying not to go there. <laughs> me too. Dawn, you going to hook me up and bring me to the barbecue? Uh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She had to think yeah. about it, though. <laughs> all, of, all of y'all in No, I wasn't a thought. I definitely had to. Yeah, no, that's, that's no, yeah. no hesitation on that one. Wait. Oh please, <laughs> Dawn. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for uh, well okay. for her, for helping us out and introducing us to the Furtado brothers. Um, thank you again, Dawn. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, okay. back at you. God bless. So so we we um, we we got all the different IG social media handlers. Uh, we got the events. Um, if you could send that to us uh, via text or through Dawn, and we'll make sure we can post it as well yes um you know uh ralph mcdaniels is a former guest but also very close uh to our family specifically to curtis so whatever he's doing we support that too so yes. now we got a tufa you know so mm-hmm. that's that's what's up um is there anything else um from you um mr uh, uh that would share like any <coughs> last par- uh, parting words of course yes and this is to every young person <coughs> excuse me don't allow anyone to speak negativity into your spirit and whatever you do in life, you shoot for the moon. And if you should happen to miss your mark, realize you will be amongst the stars where you'll be able to make a mark that could never, ever be erased. Mm. That's from me to you. Mm, that sounds like your tomorrows depend upon your todays. Exactly. These are the deep oh, brothers oh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're the deep brothers now. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, indeed. Well, no, but we still bad. fun. We God, still fun. Yeah, we I, have don't, fun. I don't know after <laughs> see that. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, see, I got to look at her face all the time. She's like, word, sister. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I feel like saying a Frankie Cocker speech after this, but, <laughs> <laughs> see, but may you live 100 yeah. days and we are 101. <laughs> one, one of the things you realize, right, that the state of emergency <laughs> that our younger generation are in. Absolutely. Sometimes it's good to joke, but we need to more si- be more serious than ever yeah. because the, pl- the prison system is filled up with people who look just like us. Yeah, there's more people in prison than there was ever in slavery. And yeah. so mm-hmm. how can that be? Mm-hmm. And it's 2018, and we still are in the midst of the devil's grip. So I'm so glad to see you guys are fighting. The and knowing fight. that it's a business and not yeah. necessarily Sh- targeted. It's always been a business. It's absolutely. Yes. You know, knowing that. And it goes, it goes hand in hand. So I just got one more question. Mm-hmm. I know, just Will, please, one more question. I know Queens is, you know. <laughs> so um, what happened in jail? Something happened in jail to make you say, oh, shoot, this is like. J-E-S-U-S. Say that again? Jesus. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's what happened in jail? Jesus. They ain't had nothing but what to happened? Do. Like, were you like online or someone? What, what was going no, on? No, like, no, tell so me the exact moment. So the you exact moment, it. you know, I mean, we kind of knew it the whole time. Oh, you um, did? That's why I said we made our choices yeah. knowingly and willingly. Understood. We knew exactly what we was doing when we was doing it. You know, so that's why, you know, um, we was dubbed, you know, international um, back in that era. But one day in transit in Oklahoma, 1995, a brother said to me, and this brother got life plus 40. Mm. And he said, yo, man, why don't you come sit in Bible study with us? 
And I said, Bible study? He was like, yeah, you know, you're about to face something, man, and you're going to need some help. Mm. So I went and sat in Bible study, and I got introduced to my Lord and Savior, Christ, mm. you know, um, the anointed. And But we always had knowledge, you know, and I know the guards that's listening, y'all going to love this. We had knowledge, wisdom, and understanding mm. all there the you time. Go. You know, even though you would say we was wild and uncivilized, you know, we had knowledge. <laughs> now, how y'all know y'all are dope? I'm going to tell you how I know y'all are dope. Every organization, every crew got a timekeeper and got a, a time clock, you know. Yaz is the time clock, you know. Uh -huh. Yaz is like, we're over time or we're running too late. She's looking at the clock. She's like, yeah, so I have another question. <laughs> you know, brother, good brother, how did you find Jesus? <laughs> and I'm like, wow. <laughs> These guys are that, butter that food go <laughs> with it. <laughs> that being said, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been an incredible experience. And uh, we hope to look forward to seeing more of your uh, accomplishments, no endeavors. Thank you. And we got your back. No doubt. Bless us. Thank you. Thank yeah. you On for point family, me. more family. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And we love this experience. Yeah. Oh, 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 he is Frankie Crocker. All right. Queen Dream, take us away, baby. Take us away. Yeah.